The story is over. The son of Dusty Rhodes has risen and made himself a legend in his own right. I hate to admit it, but I got emotional at the ending there. I'm literally writing this video fresh after watching the main event of WrestleMania, so my thoughts here are going to be sporadic. For a basic rundown of the match, it started with Roman acting cocky only for Cody to prove that he was better and more skilled than Roman, leading to interference from Jimmy Uso, who was subdued in a table spot with his brother Jay, followed by interference from Solo Sikoa, who was neutralized by John Cena with another table spot. Then of course, The Rock enters. As if this mania main event couldn't have felt any bigger, the stare down between The Rock and John Cena was absolutely huge. The only thing that didn't make a lot of sense in my mind was The Undertaker showing up. I only mention it because he was literally the only part of the finale that had nothing to do with the story leading up to it. I mean, if Roman had retired Taker, maybe it would have made a little more sense. In my head canon, I'm willing to just say that Undertaker Kayfabe was doing it out of respect for Dusty and out of disgust for a fellow veteran coming back to interfere with modern affairs. But even that feels like a reach. Nevertheless, Undertaker's choke slammed to the rock and subsequent disappearance set the scene. As the lights came back on with only Roman and Cody in the ring, it was pure cinema. This was the audience being told, this is it. Everything about the performance of Cody and Roman was spot on, and if anything with Cody's performance in terms of emotion and expression and obviously athleticism. Cody proved that he deserves that top spot. Oh, one more thing that didn't make sense was having the Shield music play with only Seth Rollins show up. I'm well aware that John Moxley is under contract with AEW, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to play the Shield music when it's just Seth showing up. I get that Seth and Roman were in the Shield together, but still, I just didn't think it was the right fit. Nevertheless, that main event and WrestleMania 40 in general was definitely one for the ages. I felt a roller coaster of emotions whilst watching, and it was one of those events that reminds you why you're a wrestling fan. The celebration in the ring with Cody and his family and friends, as well as multiple members of the locker room and Triple H, was beautiful. Michael Cole getting emotional bloody well got me emotional. So in the name of posting positive content to YouTube, that's my unfiltered post-mania take. A story that started with a count out in Madison Square Garden on September 26th, 1977, ended tonight at WrestleMania. Speaking of which, I'm definitely doing a video documenting the full story stretching right back to Dusty, so subscribe for that. Thanks for watching again, guys, and let's hope wrestling continues to be this bloody brilliant, keeps a sarcastic mark, sincerely happy.